Hello Virgo, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Val 53 Tarot, she read you as well. Thank you. Let's see what's going on. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What is that? Ooh, what? Um, okay. Goodness, Virgo. This one's gonna... I'm gonna have to take a second to look at this. Like, really look at this one. Um, because what I'm looking at, I'm not... Yeah, <laughs> jeez. What I'm looking at and what I'm sensing are... To something a little bit... On it. I was gonna say... It's on a little bit of a different level, Virgo. As the Virgo, interesting, as the Virgo, no. Um, as the devil shows up. Um, goodness, 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 goodness. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that is, that. that's... Um, I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. I, I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, buddy. So, jumping into this Virgo. Huh. I feel like you've chosen something here, Virgo, and I don't know if this is something between you and someone or just something regarding your own situation and circumstances. You, you've made a choice here to dedicate or devote yourself to something or someone, Virgo, and you're kind of showing me that immediately you're not too sure what any of it means. But what's fascinating is you definitely are choosing something that makes you happy initially. Now, I, I don't know what goes on because initially this shows up that you know it's kind of like okay great it's almost like this complete unknown hidden thing that makes you happy but emotionally speaking you find out very quickly that you're not too happy there's actually a huge disappointment and upset um to the point where you're kind of like and stop everything stop everything you're kind of like you know becoming reserved withheld um, you're not really wanting to give to the situation, but at the same time, the way things are actually moving forward, you are gaining your answers. And that's what I, that's what I'm talking about. Um, you have no idea why you chose what you chose. It's what you're saying. Um, but you're finding out along that path what it means to be on that path. Now, whatever this personal breakthrough is, I don't know if it's regarding a living situation, a home, a business foundation or what. But you're realizing that within the home, or within the sense of stability, there is such an energy here that is completely depleting you of all energy to the point, Virgo, um, how do I say this? I believe I said this back then too, Virgo, go get a cleansing, go get a blessing. Um, you're showing me that even... <laughs> Even closing this door of whatever this is, you are highly panicking about this. Highly panicking. You're saying the living situation or the foundation or whatever this path is, as you're even trying to take it easy, you're saying you just find yourself absolutely depleted and you're not sleeping. Like I said, go get a cleansing or go get blessed, Virgo. Because there's a door there that needs to be closed. There's a door that needs to be closed and done with. 
there's something there that you're messing with or playing with that's not <laughs> not good not good Yeah, yeah. You're conflicted. You're conflicted. Oh, oh goodness. Yeah. I'm looking at 555, five, five, and I just saw 555 five, five, five for Taurus. Um, So the earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn are all dealing with a very similar energy this year that I just saw 555 five, five on the clock. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, it lets me know who's who. Um, Jeez. I don't exactly know what that's all about. It does feel like it is within the home. Um, geez, 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 geez. What'd you try, Virgo? What'd you try? What'd you try? You tried a trial and error. You tried something. I don't know what that is, but it clearly didn't work out. And even you're like, mm, I don't know if it's the living situation or what this is, but you're kind of saying, you know what? It's like you're you're wanting to start something new. You're wanting to start something again, but it's like you're you're finding it very difficult to kind of geez. Um, you're, you're searching. You're searching and you're scrounging around for something, Virgo. And I kind of feel like it is a matter of regarding some sort of financial pursuit or endeavor. I don't know what that's about. You're kind of saying it's like you're finding it difficult to even find inspiration or be creative to the point where you're kind of like okay, whatever, drop it. Um, and so there's this energy of surrender. But there's also the realization of like you still have all this responsibility to deal with and take care of. Um, and this is where you're saying a lot of this energy between you and someone is taking place. Virgo, you're showing me that a lot of what has happened or taken place between you and someone is very emotionally upsetting. It, it's almost even to the point of it's very disturbing. And this is whoever you're in a relationship or commitment with, unfortunately. You're showing me a lot of love. You have a lot of love for them. You have a lot of understanding with, about them and for them. At the same time, the relationship itself is taking a hit of some sort to the point where you're even kind of saying, you know what, I'm trying to work on things with them and I'll be, I'll be honest and kind of blunt to the point, Virgo, they're manipulative. They're using appearances, aesthetics, possibly, you know, physical tactics. Um, and that's what's interesting is, Virgo, you are in bed with a snake and there's no easy way to say it. You're showing me, it's like, whoever this person is, I know they're no good for me. And you're trying really hard to kind of not give into literal temptation. Um, but you're realizing, you know what? Here I am in place dealing with someone. And emotionally speaking, because I do realize who I'm dealing with and what I'm dealing with, even though I have to deal with them to some certain extent, emotionally speaking, peace. You know they're no good for you, Virgo. You, you, and that's that. That's that. You're like, yeah, but I still want to make things ideal, and it's like understandably because of the living situation. But yeah, you're searching, Virgo. You're searching. Um, there is, interestingly enough, there is there's there's someone there. Um, there's someone else there, Virgo, and you're saying, you know what, I'm, I'm still holding on to luck and hope, and I'm kind of praying here that I can make things right with someone else. I'm just not too sure, but I am considering approaching them. 
I feel like Virgo, unfortunately, you are being redirected towards someone who is actually more loving, caring, and nurturing rather than more physical, lust, temptation, and manipulative. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, which you clearly are, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, an earth sign, or a water sign. Goodbye.